Welcome to the 1976 Swedish Grand Prix of the Formula One Championship. This was the round seven at the Scandinavian Raceway in Anderstop. And uh, what was uh, interesting about this race, it was the first and only win by a six-wheel car. It was the Tyrell P34. The Tyrell P34 was revealed at the Heathrow Hotel in late September 1975. The first uh, time that took uh, to the track it was at Silverstone on October the same year. And after more tests, Tyrrell decided to build two more examples with a slightly longer wheelbase to race in the 1976 season. Derek Gardner was the man behind the P-34's revolutionary concept and uh, the reason why is because uh, in the mid 70s almost every team on, on the grid except Ferrari was using the same engine they were, uh, it was the Ford Cosworth engine they were also using the same uh, Heuland gearbox and the same tires the put here so it was very difficult to find uh, an advantage uh, against any other teams and uh, Derek, uh, uh, Derek Garner uh, mentioned in, a, in a, an interview that he did some calculations and concluded that if a car with four small front wheels contained within the width of the bodywork, I could reduce the amount of lift generated by normal front wheels. This was at the Autosport magazine. That in turn would allow me to back off on the front aerodynamics. And the figure I came up with was an equivalent of 40 odd horsepower. To give you an idea, we can see here the regulations of the FIA uh, in the mid-70s. So we are talking, this design was revealed in 1975. So at that moment, the maximum width of the front wing here was 1.5 meters. So the normal tires would be outside of the, of the width of the, uh, of the wing creating some uh, some drag in there so that's why the p34 basic concept was to use a, a tire that would be small enough to fit entirely behind the wing and this would have two effects one would be to lower the overall drag as we were mentioning and thus improve speed on straights and the other was to clean up overall aerodynamics so the rear wing would receive a cleaner airflow with the space limitations because you need to fit the, the, uh, the driver, uh, uh, the pedals, etc. With a normal tire it was, it was impossible and that's why the Derek uh, Carter came with the, the idea of doing this. This new version with the stretch uh, wheelbase first run at the round number four in Spain in the 1976 championship and it proved very very good actually uh, it was only one car raced it was uh, Patrick de Palier who had to retire for some braking uh, issues uh, but uh, he did uh, qualify for the race 11 places ahead of uh, Jody Set so the following race uh, in Belgium, actually both of them uh, race with it, and uh, the Palier had to retire but uh, Jody Sector finished fourth. And the next uh, race was Monte Carlo, they finished second and third behind Niki Lauda and then was this uh, race in Sweden where they finished one two and uh, Jody Sector uh, got the victory with the Palier in second and he was the first and uh, it was the only victory that, uh, that this car had. Here we have uh, Patrick de Pailier actually doing some uh, testing at the circuit. And actually the, the first uh, when they unveiled the design in 1975, he had a, a, 
a tall snorkel, you could say at the at here at the rear on top of the engine, that uh, it was very, very uh, every car actually had it in 1975, uh, the airtake, but it was uh, the FIA prohibited for the 1976 season, that's why uh, it's really the engine is uh, uncovered in here. 1977, actually they did a, a more streamlined design, the P34B, uh, and that was the, the last one actually, it only lasted two, two years, uh, not complete, uh, complete seasons, it was 76 and 77, and after that it was a... Uh, it was a... Uh, dispatch they didn't continue with that now there were other six wheelers the, the, the march engineering williams and ferrari also had uh, uh, six wheel cars uh, however the extra wheels were at the back uh, so mark and williams actually they had the wheels uh, in a tandem like uh, you know, one and then the next but ferrari actually placed them in here uh, in the same ax in the same axle were very strange. Uh, all of them they had testing, but they never raced. You know, they never competed in any in any Grand Prix. So Tyrrell was the uh, Tyrrell was the only one, and actually they got a win. Later on, in the uh, I believe in the early 80s, was 80 or 81, the FIA determined in the rule book that uh, the maximum number of wheels is four. So and it's very unlikely that that's going to change and uh, so this car is very special for that because probably nobody <laughs> we're never going to see another six wheeler car and they got the only the only victory uh, with it so the reason that the, the project was abandoned uh, people say that mostly would be because of the uh, the tires uh, good year was uh, you know developing the, the the tires the normal tires as uh, they always do all the manufacturers however this small 10 inch uh, 10 inch of 250 millimeters i think is the the, the, the right size i don't put me on that um they were not developed so they did the the tires for for the car but uh, the following season they didn't year and a half or whatever, they didn't do anything uh, about it to, to improve them and they were not going to do anything for 1978 so that's why they went back to the traditional uh, concept as any other cars uh, also the P34B or 1977 was uh, wider and heavier and uh, all that extra weight put a lot of pressure on the brakes and uh, they had some braking problems the four discs that they had in the time, and it was all the, the advantage that uh, the concept was supposed to have uh, was, was gone. It was all not all that uh, grip and, and front, uh, front uh, handling that, uh, that they wanted. But anyway, we're gonna continue to the race. Uh, let's see if uh, I can do as well as uh, Jody Sector. We're gonna be racing with Jody Sector and see if we can get a victory. But, uh, Know, just uh, to have a, a look at the, the track that is uh, uh, also at uh, also at, at the car. So in the real race, in real life, uh, as we mentioned before, uh, Jody Sector with uh, the Tyrrell had uh, the pole followed very closely by Mario Andretti with his Lotus, third was Chris Amon with the Ensign, and Patrick De Palio was fourth with the, other the second Tyrrell. Niki Lauda with Ferrari was fifth, Gunnar Nilsson, the first uh, Swedish uh, driver with the second Lotus, almost a second behind, and then was uh, Jack Lafitte with uh, Ligier, uh, James Hunt uh, we have here on the screen, uh, he was uh, qualified in eighth, with his McLaren, and then Ronnie Peterson with uh, Mark, uh, was the, the second uh, Swedish driver. Tenth was Carlos Pace with a Brabant, and Clay Regazzoni uh, with the second Ferrari in 11th. 
Now, later in the race, actually, it was uh, Mario Andretti who led for a good part of it, but uh, however, he was uh, penalized by uh, for a jump start. Uh, took a 60 second penalty, so he was pushing very hard to increase the, the lead uh, from the, the T-Rails and uh, until his car uh, uh, failed <laughs> in uh, lap uh, 46 and uh, yeah, he had to retire. Eight laps before that, it was uh, Chris Simon who had a, a problem with his uh, suspension and uh, had a crash. Uh, eight laps before uh, Mario Andretti retired, so that gave the uh, Nicky Lauda jump up to third position, and uh, the DGA uh, with Jack Safit he finished in, uh, fourth, and behind was. Um, was a uh, James Hunt actually the finishing fifth and the, the rounding up the, the points, the, the last uh, point position. The only six cars uh, were uh, getting the points. It was uh, Clay Regasoni that uh, climbed up from 11th to all the way up to sixth. So we're gonna have a, a, a race of our own. We're gonna see this uh, Grand Prix. See if we can if we can do the same <laughs> as. Uh, Jody Sector did with uh, Tyrell and see if we can get a win. So I catch up with you guys after the race.
that was the the race and uh, you could see at the beginning for starting from the pole position i actually couldn't see the the flag man <laughs> the marshal with the flag uh, he was on top of me with the cockpit view and i had to repeat the the start actually of the race because suddenly uh, everybody started moving and they uh, crashed me from behind <laughs> I said, what the heck is going on? So uh, when I restarted, I just looked at the at the top uh, with the timer, I uh, started to zero, and then and I saw in the mirrors that people were started racing, so I started moving, and I noticed that uh, yeah, he was uh, right on top of me. I couldn't I couldn't see it. So yeah, there is that. Now uh, I couldn't get the exactly the same grid as. Uh, it a hundred percent as in real life will happen there are a few um, changes because it seems that a lot of uh, races the drivers change uh, teams between one and another uh, uh, race uh, and it's not a hundred percent but it's very close it's very close and i'm gonna leave you now with the the different uh, cars to uh, i have to stop it because uh, it's very loud and uh, uh, if you want to experience the sound of the engines and all that I want to show you um, I, I have to stop it because otherwise uh, and I have to record this actually with a, a screen recorder I'm using OBS but it doesn't recognize for some reason I can use the Nvidia Shadow Play for example and with OBS also it doesn't recognize as a game the the exit of of this game so i have to do a screen recorder so i have to go out come back in with you know control alt delete to bah, it's a little pain but um whatever it takes right so yeah and the the, re the real life what we mentioned before it was the lotus of um of uh, uh oh my goodness what's his name <laughs> Mario Andretti, holy cow! Mario Andretti, who who went uh, on to lead the race, but he was penalized, and in the end he was pushing, pushing, and his engine broke. So anyway, I'm gonna leave you now with the um, with the cars. I hope you enjoy this. If uh, you do like it, the, let me know if you would like to see something in particular. The next uh, video is gonna be uh, Mexico, 1992. That we're gonna be driving with uh, the McLaren of Ayrton Senna as a, um, a Mason Mason 23. I think was the, the name he asked me for for that. So I'm gonna work on on that next. If you want to see something in particular, hit me on the comments and let me know the year, the driver or car that you want to see, and I'll try to prepare the video for you. But anyway, thank you very much. This was Dario. And I hope to see you soon with the next one. Leave you now with the engines. Uh, mind your ears.